So at six, it's a race against the clock and the valley playing a key role. This week, the last male northern white rhino on the planet died. And right now, the Wildlife Word Zoo in the West Valley is taking a proactive approach so another threatened species does not meet the same fate. ABC 15's John Patrick has more. Poachers have even started breaking into sanctuaries, orphanages, and they've started breaking into zoos. The horn on the Wildlife World Zoo's three new southern white rhinos are believed to be worth more than their weight in gold to poachers. We had to have them uh, guarded by armed guards 24 hours a day prior to them departing to make the long journey here. Now that the three unrelated females are here, the zoo plans to introduce them to Butch, their resident six-year-old bachelor. And if something drastic isn't done right now to help try and conserve the rhino population that we still have, rhinos could go extinct within our lifetime out in the wild. So these three ladies are still a little too small for Butch, but in a few years they'll be big enough to breed and help keep the rhino population at a healthy level. Hopefully there are enough rhinos under human care that if they do go extinct in the wild, we have enough genetic diversity to sustain the entire species. Something that likely won't happen for the northern white rhino with only two females remaining. Because there are so few individuals, that's not enough to create enough genetic diversity necessary to bring back the species, but it might um, bring back a few individuals. John Patrick, ABC 15, Arizona.